Hello friends and welcome to Porto, Portugal. up in Porto, Portugal. I took a four hour bus ride from Cascais to come meet my friend up here to explore the town. And I am so excited to be in this town to explore what the city has to offer. Since I've been beachside for the last two weeks, uh, it definitely has a different architecture. It likes to rain a lot. It reminds me a lot of Vancouver climate and temperature. I need to introduce you to my friend first, but before I do that, you need to subscribe to my channel. So please hit subscribe below, like this video, turn on the notifications, help us to keep traveling. She's traveling, I'm traveling. Traveling. It goes a long way and it's free to you. So I am traveling with my friend Reagan. We've known each other for like 15 years. This yeah, this is your cue to this come in. Hi <laughs> guys. Oh, She's been solo traveling Europe and I said, hey, I'm gonna be in Portugal for a month. So if you wanna come meet me, you know where to find me. So I'm so glad that she flew in to Portugal from I was in Belgium before this. Belgium, and she's coming back down to Cascais with me. Um, and now it's starting to rain, which is just lovely. And, and it's gonna be bananas. <laughs> <laughs> but without further ado, let's go explore. First, we need some coffee. Today's mission is to find coffee and breakfast, but first we had to climb like a thousand steps to go down towards the water. Reagan has found a coffee shop on the maps that uh, we think is down this way, but we're really hoping we're going at the right vertical level because basically if we're in the wrong one, we have to go back up the steps and I need a coffee. Okay, Reg and I are at Nada, sweet Nada, and I just ordered un cappuccino con leche de avena y un pastel genada, and I feel like my Portuguese isn't so good, but when it comes to food, I know what I'm doing. So this was recommended to Reagan by a friend, and it's just on alongside the waterfront here, and we're hungry. Also, you just sit down and they come to you. There's a menu because I feel like in European culture, I never know if I'm supposed to order in, I'm if I'm supposed to sit down. But um, I just kind of did like a anywhere and she said something in Portuguese, which I took as sit down. <laughs> Canela, faz natas. Si? Yes, yes. 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 Recording? Yeah, it's on my camera. <laughs> oh my god. I've had a few pastel genadas already, but this one, oh wow, <laughs> it's one of the best. It's so warm. It's like custard, like pudding on the inside. Oh, wow. I'm happy. I wonder if someone makes a vegan pesto genata. We could, we can try it. <laughs> we'll try to recreate. Actually, what the bomb? See? Yeah. Mm. After getting some coffee, Reg and I are now at the St. Francis Church and Museum. We're not going to go in because we're cheap, but we'd rather spend money on food and wine. But you can look around the courtyard space. There's a beautiful view of the water in front here. Um, this is beautiful. But Stunning. we're not gonna go inside. <laughs> Stunning. 
yeah, we're not gonna go inside. Because if you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to figure out our next plan of action because Ray put together an amazing Google Maps of all the spots we wanted to hit today, but because some roads are so hilly, and some all, we're just trying to navigate what the best next best step is. I think we're gonna add this this little church here. It wasn't on our itinerary, but but we're already up the stairs, so, so we're doing it. And it's starting to rain. I know I feel a little sprinkle. If it rains and you don't see any content, it's because. Cameras, camera. <laughs> cameras and rain don't mix and I already splashed cinnamon on my camera <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so, but I mean, this viewpoint behind us is not so not bad. Too bad. Not too bad. Rake's feeling a little shaky from the coffee because she doesn't normally drink coffee. So we're gonna have to find another snack soon. I'm feeling just fine because I could use, I'm used to drinking two or three of those. I'll take another, I'll take another cappuccino, please. I should have drank yours. Yeah, another cappuccino, por favor. And a pastel gianata would be so good right now. So it's also like kind of busy, but not, it's low season here. But, but it's a Spanish holiday this weekend. So we've got lots of tourists from Spain. Yeah. Oh, oh there they are. <laughs> yep, there's a lot. gorgeous view but it's a bit busy for my liking <laughs> <laughs> Currently raining, but we are at the Clergios Tower is what's behind us here. Reg's got the umbrella to keep the camera safe. <laughs> All right, next on the itinerary is has brought us now to the beautiful blue walls. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure we gotta protect the hair and, and the camera. <laughs> oh, on double duty. What right is this now. called, Reagan? We are at the Igreja do, do Carmo. Do Carmo. You say it with a lot nicer accent. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I, I wish I had more appreciation for tile work, but the colors are really uh, beautiful. I guess that's something, when looking at it, it looks like a mural, but it's actually tiny pieces of tile. So I'm super curious, did they put the tiles on first and then paint it all together, or did they paint it separately and then put it on the wall? Because the shading of the blue and the white and the, the artistry to create the depth of the portrait is Really well done. So we're gonna cross the street so that. Let's go. Cool. It's good now. So we can get the detail rig. Library that JK Rowling apparently spent a lot of time at. Liberia Lello. But to line up can apparently get up to three hours long just to get inside. It's five euros to enter or 15 euros um, and then you get to pick out any book from there and take it home with you. And you were telling me about like there's Harry Potter facts for all Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter fans. Um, yes, yeah, so JK Rowling lived here in her younger years. Um, with her abusive ex-husband, actually. She ended up escaping him and moving to Edinburgh where she wrote the rest of the series, but she spent a lot of time writing in here, apparently, and the library at Hogwarts is inspired by the architecture and um, everything inside. So I've been told. <laughs> so I've read, but we're not paying to go inside. It's also just certainly like not waiting pouring out and I feel like you go inside and it's just gonna be a photo shoot. And that kind of just takes away from the experience for me. And so. it's actually been not so busy, but now that we're in places where all these Spanish tour groups, like there are so many groups of people 
it's just not our vibe. So we're gonna go find a hot chocolate shop that Reagan found. I'm hoping that they also have plant-based milk, which that cappuccino we had earlier was with oat milk. I think it was actually almond, although I asked for oat. To me, it tasted more almond. Either way, it didn't taste like dairy, so. That's then, a win. Maybe this afternoon we uh, get drunk and get some port of wine. <laughs> I, if we don't get port wine, well, we are going to. We must. We absolutely. It would be illegal to be here at not jail. Jail if you're not drinking port wine in Porto. <laughs> oh, that guy just gave her an umbrella. That was nice. Oh my god, what a gentleman. Oh, that white umbrella. Do you have anyway. another? Okay, let's go to Hot Chocolate. We're not gonna film because I'm gonna get wet. Or should I say? <laughs> stop we were trying to go to Cho chocolate da flora but it seems to be under re renovation and we're right across the street at the hungry man cafe which i think the name is quite hilarious i've just gotten a americano com leche de avena which was so warm i feel i just burnt my tongue and reagan got a beetroot soy latte which is gorgeous oh, thank you oh my gosh that looks thank amazing you. oh i will and we also are splitting a Boraca lava with balsamic, tomachi, eggplant. Damn, girl. <laughs> it's a piece of the lettuce. Yeah. Not a piece of the jars. This girl in the window is laughing at me because the camera's eating before I. Paul needs first. I don't make the rules. Oh my gosh. This is good. Now we're going to have the energy to really see the rest of this day. It's a good waffle too. It's like a nice, fluffy, thick American waffle. Not like a Belgian liege waffle, I think it's called. Yeah. But, burrata is fresh, waffles are warm, eggplants, full of flavor, a little bit of that, like, I kind of wish it was almost like a crispy eggplant, but, molto bueno, molto bueno. Eat it with the eggplant. Mm. I love cheese. Yep. So, this way. That breakfast was really good, but Reagan and I's strategy is that we actually split food because in about an hour's time, we're gonna be at a sandwich shop that was recommended to us. So we split that waffle so that we can eat a sandwich again, <laughs> since we're on like this foodie tour. Yeah, a little food tour, self-guided. And now it's no more caffeine. Time to find some Porto wine somewhere along the line. Yeah. <laughs> Me get What does that mean? I don't know, that's a song. Oh. Beyonce. <laughs> no, no, no. I like to wait for the green. Green yeah. means go, red means stop. And in New Why Zealand, not? orange means yellow. Really? And she's like, what do you do with the orange light? We don't have one of those. With my time here in Portugal, I've actually been staying in the town of Cascais, and I've been volunteering at a hostel through the platform World Packers, and one of the hostels I applied to was actually called the passenger hostel which is right behind me it's built into Sao Bento station I am like you know the stars aligned there was serendipity because this is a noisy place to be sleeping for over a month and a very busy place to also come out and try and find like some peace of mind so it was all meant to be but uh, it's still pretty cool that they've rebuilt this historic building I have read that it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and I think it's a great use of an old building, converting it into a hostel, so 
multiple people can enjoy it. Everything was meant to be. I, I like the neighborhood. I'm staying in a lot better in Cascais, but uh, yeah, it is an active train station. I believe they're just local trains throughout Portugal, and I don't think they cross borders. Nonetheless, it's pretty sick. Like, what would you think about living inside a train station for a month inside a hostel? I feel like they're being no peace and quiet. Really cool concept, but I don't think it would be for me. <laughs> a quick, like, a quick weekend, or maybe like a week, but living, no. I do want to see inside it though, I'm curious. not sure how to handle it because <laughs> it's annoying and there's so many hills to walk up so we just went to the viewpoint now we're trying to go to a thrift shop called Humanis oh, okay. which has been is in um, Lisbon and other places but I was told in Porto it's even cheaper and I really need another sweater because it's a little chilly <laughs> here. things are getting wet and it's so humid the hair Anyway, we're having a great time. It's so nice to be back together. Oh, it's sweet. It's strong. It's sweet. Like it tastes like. I like it. That's gonna be dangerous. That could be dangerous. Yeah, that's the one. I got a sandwich with just caramelized onions, sabuya, ikezu, which is cheese and sheep's cheese and a really crunchy bun. On camera. The bun looks really crunchy. Well, it's cheesy. Too cheesy? Not so good. Not good? Because she's that. Yeah. Like sheep's cheese. It needs to be melted then. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't like it. The cheese needs to be melted more. It tastes literally like. Mine is really good. I hate to say it, but I know that you don't. You know what I'm it just, out. it just tastes too, it tastes like a sheep farm. <laughs> is it really bad? It's just like all you taste is like sheep. Aww. Anyway, I'm sure. She's got, she's got her wine now. Maybe I just need to eat like half the cheese. Yeah, can you pick the cheese out? Yeah, there's two slices. Mm -hmm. We've been like 50 50 on food today. Two have been so misfires. Cool. Like it's not warm. Anyway, two orders have been misfires. Okay, so we just had a nice chat at Casa Guedes. A little heart to heart but yeah my sandwich wasn't so good because it was sheep's milk cheese it was just too much keju and I wanted it like panini and melty but Reagan really liked her sandwich yeah it was um, I'm usually not a pork gal but it was very good like melt in your mouth flavorful melted brie cheese honestly dang I give it a I would give it an eight out of ten Wow. Maybe uh, seven, seven. Seven feels better. Seven and it was like me. 33 Canadian for two sandwiches and two glasses of port wine. And the vino, port wine is like very sweet and- It's like a dessert wine. And intense in flavor. And I'm feeling a slight buzz. Do, you do your legs feel a little- No, my <laughs> legs feel fine. We're not that drunk. <laughs> That's honestly what goes first for me. But we're gonna speed walk home to have a little reset and then we're gonna try and run and chase across the bridge to catch what might be some sort of a sunset. It's but looking promising. There's blue skies in the horizon.
so I was a little panicky. Let's go over here a little further. <laughs> don't you dare drop that. <laughs> it's quite high and I don't like heights. And I don't like that you can see down beneath the crack right below me right now. It makes me feel super woozy. I can't really go closer. Trippy. We had coffee down there this morning. But this is really high up. I don't like it at all. This is a really high bridge. Super busy. Oh, um, here's a little fun fact for you guys. This bridge right here, um, Gustavo Eiffel himself was one of the uh, architects behind the project. And I'll flip you around in just a second and uh, tell me if this looks like the uh, <laughs> tell me if this looks like the Eiffel Tower to you. It's very high up here. <laughs> All right, friends, this ends day one of one and a half of exploring Porto, Portugal with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> with my friend Reagan. If you like day one, like this video because day two is coming up soon. We've had a great day exploring. I feel like we did everything that we put our schedule to. There was just one food place we didn't get to, but closed on Sundays. Closed on Sundays, that chocolate food place, hot chocolate place was closed too. So we forget that things in Europe are closed on Sundays and we're gonna go for dinner later tonight, but it's dark so you can't see anything anyway. Just know that it's going to be delicious and we'll see you maybe for the sunrise in the morning, if not for brunch. Have a great evening. Please subscribe to my channel and we will see you soon. Ciao for now. Like, all right, well, it's not getting better than this for me. <laughs> now I have to, oh, I gotta wait till they pass. I can. And welcome to Porto, Portugal. <laughs> and it's been really fun. Just kidding, because this is a movie video, so we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Squizzing. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Liberia. 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 I don't know. La la la. Multiple, multiple people can enjoy it. <laughs> it's Reagan doing. <laughs> What's the photo booth? Okay, where are we headed? Let's. We're five minutes. A fun fact for you guys. Okay, extend your hand. Oh, <laughs> so it's not so. <laughs> you don't like the close up? All right. Oh my god, the struggle. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, first timer behind the camera. Holy.